guys, my name is Jamie Adcock. I'm also known as the Running Diva Mom. I'm a running coach and personal trainer for women, and today I'm joining you from my boutique fitness studio located in the Madison, Wisconsin area. Today I'm going to show you a quick um, full body stretching routine that you can use after your runs or strength training workout. This is a great quick five minute routine that hits all the high spots including your head, your neck, and your shoulders. Um, let's go ahead and get started down on the mat. You're not gonna need any other equipment for this routine. We're gonna go down on the mat and lay on one of our sides, making shoulder, sure our shoulder is comfortable. We're going to lay comfortably down on your side, hip stack, and we're gonna stretch out the quads, bringing one heel to the rear, pushing those hips forward, Opening up those hips and stretching up the quads. Pull for five, four, three, two, and one. Now let's release. We're gonna go on our stomach and stretch out those triceps and your shoulders. Toes are pointed to take some pressure off the back. We're gonna bend at the elbows and point those elbows away from our body. Then push those elbows into the floor while your hands are gently placed behind the neck. You should feel this in your triceps and the shoulders and the upper back. And you can drive those elbows even harder to the floor to really intensify that stretch. Well, for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Now we're gonna go over to the other side and stretch out the quad on the other side. Again, making sure the shoulder's comfortable underneath and then bending that top leg, heel to the rear, belly button to the spine and hips forward. Give me five, four, three, two, one, and release. Now we're gonna go on our hands and knees into a tabletop position, hands wide under the shoulders, knees wide under the hips. We're gonna stretch out those hips. Now we're gonna take our left foot and either place it under your tummy or in between your hands if you can get your foot up there. Then we're gonna plant our opposite hand, the right hand, keeping that on the ground. As we twist towards that left knee with our torso, bring our left hand up into the back as far as you can. So we're opening the chest, stretching up the back and stretching out that left hip. You can work on your balance by closing your eyes and pulling the belly button to the spine. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Open the eyes, come back on the hands and knees. And we're gonna take it to the other side, right foot underneath your stomach or between the hands. We're gonna plant the opposite hand, the left hand this time, and twist towards the right knee, bringing that right hand up into the back, opening the chest, stretching out the back, stretching out that right hip. Three, two, one. Now close the eyes. Belly button to the spine for five, four, three, two, one and back on the hands and knees. Now we're gonna stretch out the adductors, the inner hip, inner thigh, and we're going to bring our left foot out wide and high, aiming to bring it to the side of the shoulder. If you can, foot should be on its side so that the ankle is pointing towards the floor. And we're gonna either leave it there or drag it along with us as we bring our rear back to the heel into child's pose. So we're gonna leave it or drag it Feel a nice intense stretch in that inner thigh, inner hip. And then if you can, we're gonna extend the arms and the fingertips, lower the elbows, lower the head, drawing the nose towards the knee. Big breath from the belly for this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, come on the hands and knees. We're gonna take it to the other side. Right foot on inside, nice and high and wide. Aiming for the side of the shoulder. And we're gonna leave that foot or drag it as you come back into child's pose, rear to the heel. And then keep that foot on its side as you extend the arms, lower the elbows, lower the head. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, join me on the hands and knees. Now we're gonna curl the toes. We're gonna to come into a pike position and keeping the feet hip width apart, we're slowly gonna walk the fingertips back towards the heels till your heels drop. Soften in the knee, trying to keep on straight. 
Drop those heels for that nice stretch in the posterior chain and the hamstrings and the glutes. And then grab those ankles once you're ready. And push through the heels, reach up to the ceiling. And then bring those hands down to your side. Now we're going to turn forward and stretch out the rest of the body here. Feet come wide. Hands come together in front. We're going to tilt the pelvis forward, tighten the glutes in the back, and reach up. Ears between the biceps. Now we're going to go into a deep a lateral stretch. Bend into the side, pushing through those heels, stretching out those obliques. And then exhale as your core returns you to center. And now let's do a deep stretch to the other side. And again, core returns you to center. Now turn the wrists and push away. If you can, you're gonna also push up. And then we're gonna bring the feet together. We're gonna push down to the floor. So we're pushing in both directions, feet to the floor, palms to the ceiling, stretch out that torso for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale and release. Now you're either gonna push your palms behind you, palms to the back, if you can, bring those fingers together in the back, hands together behind the rear. Let's squeeze the shoulders together, belly button to the spine. We're gonna to try to bend in half, nose towards the knees as the rear comes back. Go as low as you can, pushing through those heels. Now try to lift the hands from the rear up to the ceiling in the back as you squeeze those shoulders. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Exhale and stand up, hips forward, rear tight. Let's stretch out those shoulders again. One arm across the chest, other hand underneath and in. Hand is placed centrally between the elbow and the shoulder. Make sure you're not pulling on either joint. Three, two, one, and release. Let's take it to the other side. Three, two, one, and release. Now we're gonna swing your arm over your head if you can, trying to find the ear on the other side. Now we're gonna drop this here to the shoulder, drop the other shoulder to the floor, feel a nice intense neck and shoulder stretch. Hold for three, two, one, and release. Let's take it to the other side, gently pull away, gently drop the shoulder. Hold for three, two, one, and relax. That's it, guys. That's your five-minute post-workout, post-run stretching routine. I hope you'll try it after your next workout. Thanks for joining me, and have a great workout.